Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Ethereum Classic, we are trading at $22.10, 24-hour volume we're down 37%, and market cap we're down 0.35%. Heading over to our media short term for four hours, taking a look so far, it does kind of seem like the price for Ethereum Classic is going to be in a ranging trend. Essentially, what that means is that the price is going to come down to an area of support here, where we have at $21.69, all the way up to an area of resistance. So we're going to see the price moving in a zigzag formation until we have a confirmation of the volume itself spiking upwards, either a breakdown in a downtrend or an uptrend. Now, a few of our moving averages have crossed over, but most importantly, our 50 moving average crossing above our 100 and 200 moving average. This here is called a golden cross, which essentially will show us, um, you know, confirmations if our indicators are pointing in a bullish um, formation of a current uptrend. So one of the things that we do want to confirm in the uptrend is seeing more volume as the price is picking up. So we have confirmation that not only is the price coming up, but it is supported by the volume. So if we take a look at where the price was in this uptrend in these three candlesticks here that we see, we saw a decrease of the volume. So the volume itself was not supported with the uptrend, meaning that the trend itself was not strong enough. At the very top here, we see a spinning top candlestick. So this red candlestick here that we see is a spinning top candlestick, which is an exhaustion of that uptrend, followed by this engulfing red candlestick. But notice the white line here. This is our 100 moving average. We've been able to close above it one, two, three candlestick in a four hour session. So if we're able to continuously close above 100 moving average, we're able to come up and retest the area of resistance at $22.49 until again, we are in the green of our MACD indicator that measures momentum. So we can see that we are below 0%. Normally, when we're below 0%, it is going to show us that bearish wave, um, favoring, again, the downtrend that we've seen. And again, we are below our 20 moving average, which is this yellow line that shows us the trend direction. Ever since we broke it off here on February 1st, it's been a downtrend. We've had nice corrections. However, it's still currently in that downtrend. We do see the RSI has triggered that buying opportunity in this candlestick itself. Just be cautious as we can see these candlestick bodies are getting smaller, but most importantly, the wicks are getting longer too. So it is a um, it is a battle for the bulls and the bears of the aggression so far. When we're taking a look at the candlestick wicks, we do see this candlestick here, which is a inverted hammer candlestick, um, which is essentially a bearish candlestick itself coming downward. So I want to say in the next couple of hours, we may see a retest in our support line of $21.69. Again, if I were to expand this support line, we can see multiple candlesticks retest tracing down to this level. We have a few areas here dating back in the last week of January into the mid-February there coming down to retest this area of support. So it is a known area of support that we may test in the next couple of hours or so. If we were to break that area of support here, we're going to take a look at supply and demand here in this video um, using the blue and yellow nodes here. So you can see these clusters that have the volume at these dollar amounts. So we can see here, if we broke this area of support, it's moving away from this cluster coming down to here at $20 to $21.34. Um, and then if we do break that in a downtrend, it could possibly come into this cluster here closer to the $2019 to the $2034. So those are my targets here. Just be very cautious as, again, it is looking like it may consolidate sideways, which could be very frustrating in finding the overall trend. But that is my quick video update here for Ethereum Classic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, but I'll see you next time.